Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Sagittarius, this is going to be your own reading today. It is. And if this turns into a love reading, Sagittarius, uh, we're going to have an extended reading, right? Uh, with this person's, in with their, with their energy, right? And their spread. And of course, we're going to start the... Uh, the gypsy spread in this reading and we will elaborate and complete it in the extended right it's kind of how i've been doing it lately um at least for these kind of uh these type of general you know with your energy alone uh this is just what i chose right and we have sagittarius <clears throat> the first card i have here is the uprooted and next to that was freedom it looks like you're maybe you're like uh, cutting somebody loose or maybe somebody else is cutting somebody loose right uh, you know for lack of a nicer way to say it the transformation card and I feel like there is a transformation here we have the magic prayer card uh, this can talk about somebody who was like saying you know kind of speaking to the universe like I hope things work out like praying out loud Somebody is hoping, uh, I feel like, I mean, <coughs> that a prayer will kind of really bring some magic, right? And the One Ring Circus is here. This is somebody who feels all alone. They feel like they kind of have to do it all by themselves, right? With this Freedom card, I just feel like you are either leaving a situation or somebody else is. And I feel like it's to transform the situation with you, and then we have time to heal. So maybe you're letting somebody go. Maybe you are. <coughs> but you look like you're transforming something and maybe you are over here is the book this is hope and revelation mm -hmm. uh, maybe you are something something could be revealed right here maybe that somebody has uprooted somebody to come forward and they are free now it could be we have maybe they're in a family right this could be you though the Shirley Jackson card the family card you know, she spilled the coffee cup out, and she has been dealing with family problems. She has, uh, not really because, you know, she was unhappy. It's because uh, people were being uh, mean, uh, putting her, you know, putting, uh, painting swastikas on her house. Yeah, and she was, a, she was a happy housewife, taking really nice care of her house and her kids, and this is kind of what happened. Uh, and so, you know, somebody could be dealing with family problems, right? Maybe, and the coffee cup... Somebody could, you know, this can kind of indicate definitely problems. Can indicate maybe uh, somebody's kind of maybe giving up on uh, on a union, possibly. The the Sylvia Plath is here with the dark. Somebody's in the somebody's feeling this dark energy, right? And she's using her intuition though, but she's feeling super dark. That's what that is. Uh, this is, you know, this is really dark energy with her third eye and she looks like she's in a trance and then of course her skirt is uh, red veins yeah there are veins you guys kind of how creepy it is uh but this is somebody who was in the dark or not really in the dark but dealing with dark situations it's probably in their family somebody could be coming forward Sagittarius who's kind of getting a divorce it could be or you know kind of walking away from a family dynamic it's this kind of how it looks or it looks like you are, right? And then we have the differences card, but the, the black cat and the white cat, they're sitting here together like, you know, hey, it's okay. You know, we can still be together uh, even if we have kind of differences. Maybe you're going to work these differences out with this person, with somebody, right? And they're showing the apple and the orange in the fruit in the fruit bowl, right? Let's have a look at this card which says uh, about the book, right? I feel like it could be about a secret, the revelation, or somebody is revealing a secret. Mm -hmm. Hope, revelation, and ignorance. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is about hope and a revelation. Yeah, I do. Let's get a couple cards here for Sagittarius. Uh, what am I doing here? Mm -hmm. I'm turning these cards. Let's see what the Lenormand and the Kipper cards can say. Community, okay, this is just fell out, and journey. So there's a family here, there is. We have the family card, and the community card is, uh, is family as well, showing the three people here. And the journey card, this is endings and new beginnings both. Yeah, this is definitely about an ending. Somebody's walking away from, I believe, a family dynamic 
Maybe they are coming back to you and you have a family with them, possibly. Let's see what else we have for Sagittarius. And we have the bridge. And the bridge is bridging the gap. It can be somebody who is kind of, you know, maybe they had to do something first to come forward, kind of like, right, you know, just, you know, because the bridge is in a very uh, kind of precarious place. It's way up high and it's dangerous. Uh, at the end of the bridge, I feel like, is a new beginning. So let's see, Sagittarius, what we have. Your current energy is the Queen of Cups. You have the Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. This Queen of Cups could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Maybe this is the person, you know, this is your person that's not you. But this Queen of Cups is dreamy and in love. Yeah, she's looking at her cup like... Wow, I can't wait to, you know, be with so-and-so. And the strength card, this is your highest expectation. So this is kind of like what you expect. Like, uh, at least you expect courage. So, you know, if somebody's leaving somebody, you are expecting them to have courage. Yeah, I feel like you are. Or maybe this is your courage. And we have coming into play is the Ace of Pentacles. It's this person is going to, somebody's offering you, an opportunity for a long-term union, something really solid and beautiful, uh, Sagittarius. And the energies leaving you are the Page of Cups, and this is, uh, you know, this can be about somebody offering their cup. I'm not sure why it's leaving you, mm -hmm. but let's see. We're going to find out, and energy's coming soon, the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's coming in, Sagittarius, to offer you the Three of Cups. This is a reunion and a celebration. Yeah, you really, you're really, you're really wishing and hoping here that somebody's coming, and I feel like they are. This is coming soon, the Eight of Pentacles, like a devotion. The Ace of Pentacles is unfolding or coming into play, and how other people affect you is the Chariot card. They're bringing you a victory. They, this person, I feel like, could have got in the driver's seat of their car of their life and, like, taken control of their life. Because they could be coming from a hard situation. They could have uprooted somebody, Sagittarius. Yeah. And they could be coming from a dark place. Yeah, they could because uh, they might be leaving a family to be with you. And they could be coming free with the Freedom Card to transform a situation with you. I feel like that's it. The Magic Prayer is here as well. And uh, time to heal. I feel like this is this person healing. I don't. I feel like it is. Unless you are doing this, somebody is healing here, and somebody's coming in to bring you this brand new situation. This is the same person for some of you guys that is coming, right? And how you are affecting them is the Two of Pentacles. They're going round and round, back and forth. They don't know if their ships are going to come in uh, with you, because the ships are out in the stormy sea. They're not sure. But they are going back and forth about you, uh, Sagittarius, because this is how you are kind of making them feel. And then we have your hopes and fears are the Queen of Wands. So here you are showing up uh, mm -hmm, uh, here as the Queen of Wands. I mean that you are, right? Interesting. Mm -hmm. And let's see. So let's look at this reading, Sagittarius. But I feel like it's pretty clear here. But there's a couple, you know, kind of spaces that we need to fill in. Uh, let's look at the Queen of Cups and the Three of Cups. I feel like you are right now, uh, the present situation or the heart of the matter is you're, I feel like you're waiting for this person. I feel like you're waiting for somebody to come. This is kind of what I'm feeling in this reading. But let's have a look here. Let's see what we have for the Queen of Cups and the Three of Cups here. Page of Pentacles. This, the heart of the matter is that this you're really dreamy about this person, like passionate about them and romantic about them. Yeah, this is somebody that, this is a romantic love for sure. This is not just a, this is a romantic love for sure. And the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you want this new start with them, Ace of Wands, and you want a passionate new beginning with them. I feel like you could be dreaming about them. And this magic prayer could be that. This is kind of an intention, like somebody puts themselves into this space where they are, you know, trying to dream about somebody, or, yeah, like, you know, when they fall asleep at night, I, I want to be really relaxed, maybe I can, you know, dream about so-and-so, yeah, you can, you guys, but you have to be, like, relaxed in your life, um, and don't smoke, uh, you can't, I mean, I feel like the green bud, you know, for some people, it kind of, like, takes away their dreams, I have heard that from other people, 
But you have to be mostly calm in your life. Yeah, and you can't, you know, you can't be working three jobs and then you think at night you're going to lay down and really tap into source. It doesn't work like that. So let's see. And the Three of Cups is your showing up with judgment in the reverse. Okay, so you want a rebirth with this person. You do. And this is the influencing or the uh, crossing energy. You want to reunite with somebody. Three of Cups is a, is a reunion and a celebration. The judgment card is reversed. You're not sure if you're going to have it. You're dreaming about it. Wow. And we have the Ace of, uh, the Strength card is your highest expectations with the Three of Swords. I feel like you are, like, this is what you are thinking is really going to happen. Your highest expectations. It could be your goal, but I feel like you want somebody to have courage. You want this person to have courage to come and transform this situation with you. That's what you want. And you are like, I feel like you, this is your, this is like what you are least expecting. Like, like, you know, looking at things positively. I feel like you are uh, expecting, they're going to have courage here. I feel like it's to end a third party. Maybe this is you using, also using your courage about this. This is uh, a love triangle for sure. And we have the nine of swords, OMG. So this could be you though, expecting that they are worried. Because somebody's coming from a really dark place. Right here. I mean, you can just look at the lady. You're like, ugh, ugh. You could be worried here that they're coming, but I don't, I don't think this is your energy. I, I don't think so. You could be thinking at the very least they are worried. Worried about coming forward because I feel like somebody's walking away from another situation. And why wouldn't they be worried? It's not easy to leave a situation. And it could be a family dynamic because we have this community card and we also have the family card. And we have energies coming into play. The Ace of Pentacles and the Empress. You are the Empress, Sagittarius. You're going to bring this, uh, this is going to happen for you. This is going to, you know, be brought right into, like, this is going to happen. This is, the Empress is about bringing things to fruition. And I also feel like you are the third party Empress. Yes, you are. And I feel like they're coming from a family for some of you guys. Like, you are, like, the love triangle part, kind of. And the Ace of Pentacles, this is coming for you. Let's get one more card about what's coming into play. It's so beautiful. I hope I don't mess it up here. Justice. <laughs> so, you know, justice is, uh, I feel like they're bringing you justice. This could be the truth coming into play. This could be them making a decision to have this with you. And I feel like it is. And I also feel like this person here, uh, this person is coming. This has been a really hard decision for them. They've been here in the dark. Maybe you were in the past, and maybe way, way in the past, but this for me is not, it looks like this is your person. And the Page of Cups is leaving you, Sagittarius, or let's see, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, this is, uh, I feel like they already made up their, their mind that they are leaving to, you know, leaving somebody. But the Cups are full. I feel like somebody's leaving somebody because they know the Cups are full with you. So they are, you know, walking away from somebody. It's interesting. The Page of Cups. Mm -hmm. And this can be uh, communication. Let's see. It can be somebody bringing a love offer. And we have the devil. So they were, for me, this is, there was fear in the past. I feel like it's to walk away from somebody to kind of fill their cup with you. I feel like they were afraid to do that. You could have been afraid in the past, but you could also, for some of you guys, could be using your intuition that this person is coming. Yeah, because the magic prayer was here. And the magic temple was also here in the reading. It was. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see. Yep. And here it is. It was here in the reading, and I just kind of, I dropped it, and then, yeah, I didn't pick it up, and you guys know I'm clumsy. The Temple Path, too, is somebody who connects to Source. And I feel like this is what, you know, the Queen of Cups can be really dreamy. And what I mean about dreamy, not just romantic, but dreaming. 
This some of you guys are connecting on some type of a psychic level here. Yeah, that's what I'm getting in this reading. You're connecting on a psychic level, like you have a psychic connection. And you know, I feel like you know they are coming, but you know they are worried. Wow. Breaking news for Sagittarius. Over a power and light. <laughs> and the energies that are coming soon, Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, they're coming to bring you their cup of love. Eight of Pentacles, they're coming to for a devotion to make things right, to work on things with you, to have this Ace of Pentacles. And how other people affect you is the Chariot card and the Five of Cups. You know, maybe they have hurt you in the past. They could have, the Five of Cups. This is how they are affecting you. I feel like they're going to bring you a victory. For sure, the Chariot card, first card. But I feel like, you know, they are affecting you with this Five of Cups. I feel like that they, maybe they, you know, they're bringing you a victory, but maybe they regret what they've done in the past. Maybe there's regret here. Because the Five of Cups talks about regret. Let's get another card. And the Emperor. This is how they are affecting you. They are planning. They are planning to have a victory with you. And I feel like they are also planning to leave somebody right here. Five of Cups. Uh, with the Eight of Cups that is showing up right here. I feel like they made up their mind. But they made it up with fear. In other words, this person has the courage to come. I've said this before. But they are coming with like uncertainties not how much they love you or how much they want you or what they want with you they're coming with fear because they have left another situation and they don't know what's going to happen and that's why this where's that two of pentacles at i feel like that i thought the two of pentacles was here going back and forth but it's right here this is how you are making them feel They're going back and forth about, wow, I wonder if my ships are going to come in with Sagittarius. The Sun card. Mm -hmm. You are making them like go back and forth about whether or not this is going to be successful, whether or not this is going to end up happy. Or you are, I feel like what this is, is that you are making them try to figure this out. Gain their clarity here with the Sun card with, and the Two of Pentacles. This is more about clarity. But it's the same thing. Whether or not you guys are going to end up together and happy. Like whether or not th this person doesn't know. And that's what I was, was saying earlier somewhere in the reading. No, they don't really know. Mm-hmm. I feel like you are making them, though, also like lift their veil here or lift the blindfold. Like because this uh, two of swords is the sun is shining here, not just the moon, like the light, like they're receiving the light They're. I feel like you made this person kind of wake up. Possibly about what they, you know, about how important you were to them, too. I feel like this is saying, too, in the past, this person could have been more fearful about coming forward. And now they're just they are having more courage. Yeah. Uh, and because they are more enlightened. This person is enlightened. Yeah, they are. There's some type of, and I was saying that, there's like a psychic connection here. Your hopes and fears is the Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, showing up with the Five of Pentacles, OMG, and the Magician. I mean, you could be, you know, you could really be hoping they're going to leave somebody here. Because this reading is, for me, is about, you know this person, and I feel like you know, of course, you know they're with somebody. I feel like they had you in a third party, and for me, the storyline here is that you are the chosen one. Yeah. So we're going to end this part of the reading. And let's see what we have. Let's uh, open the gypsy spread and we will complete it in the other reading. And let's see. Mm hmm. See, for the gypsy spread, the heart of the matter between you both, Sagittarius, is the, the Lord in the recent past was the Consolation card. This is about forgiveness. Maybe they asked somebody else for forgiveness. Let's see. And the young woman is unfolding. This is the single woman. 
This is the woman who is like not married but available kind of. Let's see what we have. This can be the mistress. Don't have to be young, Sagittarius. And we have the conversation card. This is the obstacle. And the outcome is the servant. Okay, so we're going to finish this up. Uh, this is interesting. This is, uh, these are tidbits of what's going on here. So we're going to find out uh, that this Lord, I feel like, is the person you're dealing with. And I feel like there is hope for the situation. And that's why, with the book, that's why this is continuing. That's why this is happening. We're going to go to the extent that I really want to see it. We're going to see their current situation. Or maybe this could be your current situation, too, like about the storyline. Uh, but we're going to see their challenges, what they want, what they fear, how they feel about you, Sagittarius, and how they see this situation, what they hide, and of course their outcome. Thank you so much, you guys, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.